Hey doodlers, I have seen a lot of people asking questions about how to shorten scenes, especially without going through the process of manually shorting every single element in the scene. I'm sure you guys know when you are creating videos, when at all possible, time is your friend. Uh, and what I mean by that is saving time is your friend. You want to make this as quick and painless and easy as possible, so I am going to show you exactly what to do. For you guys who have been using Doodly for a while, I'm sure you already know all of the things I am going to say. However, for those of you who are either thinking about getting involved with making Doodly videos, or for those of you who are new and just haven't played around with this yet, this will definitely help you out, okay? So what we're going to do here is I'm... As you can see, I've got Doodly open, and over here is where you've got the scenes. These are all of the pre-made scenes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll down and choose the first one. All right, and you, you're gonna see a pre-made scene already loaded. So, and you can see here, if you scroll in here, you will see all of the elements, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to start with shortening the scene the quick and easy way. All right, real quick, as you can see, there's maybe a little bit of white space on each side. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that out a little bit, and there we go. Now it'll fit properly, okay? So we can see that this scene, by default, is about 42 and a half seconds long, okay? And you can see here, and this is the way it is, everything that you put into a doodly scene by default, each element, whether it's a picture you brought in or a tiny little item, is going to be three seconds, okay? So let's start with the very quick way to do this. You go to the end of the scene, you hover until you see that double-edged arrow, and then you simply click and drag, okay? So we just took that 42 and a half second scene, we made it 20 seconds, and what it did was it automatically made everything to one minute and 39 seconds, okay? Now, let's just say that you want to, you know, kind of, maybe the background you're cool with taking a little bit longer but you know some of these elements here you you don't necessarily need them to be longer you can always click on those come down here and it's going to highlight what you just clicked you can go ahead here and change that out okay something like that make sure that you have that clicked here and then if you scroll you'll see what you've clicked on Okay, and so that is another way that you can go in and sort of pick and choose what you want to draw out a little bit longer because some elements might be interesting to have, you know, for to have your viewer kind of watch them get drawn out. And then some of them, you know, you might just not need that much time. So you can certainly go ahead in the scene and you'll, you'll notice some hidden ones in there and you can, you know, go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, so. In a nutshell, how to shorten a scene, the quick way, you take it and you drag it, okay? If you want to pick and choose elements and, you know, choose their timing, then what I just showed you is another way to go about it, all right? If you want to lengthen a scene, you can go ahead, you can go and drag it right back out, okay? So maybe I'll take it past. 42 and a half seconds that it originally was, just so you can see that you can take all of these scenes and make them longer. Okay. Because watching these things get drawn out kind of creates something of a hypnotic effect. So when you have a pre-made scene, it's kind of cool to do that. All right. And as you can see, I mean, we've already taken it past the 42 and a half seconds. Okay. So we know that you can go ahead and lengthen the scene, and as you can see, it'll lengthen everything and adjust the timing accordingly. So these all started out at three seconds by default. It had gone to, I think, a minute and 39 sec, not a minute, <laughs> a second, 1.39 seconds. This I had taken to one second, and it kept it all in the proportion, 
Okay, and then of course you can always go in and you know re-edit them. All right. So shortening a scene, lengthening a scene, doing it the short way, doing it the long way. Congratulations, you have just learned how to do it. However, it's really cool for you guys to know that these pre-made scenes can easily be edited. Okay, so let's just say there are things in here that you might want to change around. Because I love these scenes because they really do. They make your life so much easier. You know, if they're going to help you say what it is that you want to say, then do it. You know, I say do it. You can be as creative with this as you want. You can build your scenes or, you know, they've really got quite a huge library of different things here. And they've added to it, incidentally. Since I've gotten this program, they've added several pre-made scenes. So that just goes to show you they're always adding, always updating, always tweaking, always doing cool things. This isn't like a buy it once and they're going to forget about you. It's purchase it and then they're still going to give you really cool things and you're not going to pay extra for it, okay? Unless it's an upgrade and they'll tell you up front if, if there's a charge for that, all right? So if you want to edit out an element in the scene, let's just say you love this, but maybe you want to change out the rug, Okay, you can go over here, you can type in rug, all right, I brought this one in myself, maybe the brown rug would be a little more to your taste, okay, I brought that one in from Pixabay, even though they already had one in here, all right, but I had gone ahead and brought this one in, maybe you want to add a dog, all right, you can do something like that. Fit it to size. Okay. Maybe you want to change out the chair. All right. And you can certainly do that too. Something like that. Okay. And then maybe you want to take this, you can like flip it, <laughs> I don't know, put it somewhere else, you know, and then you can uh, maybe add a plant in that corner. All right, something like that. I brought that in. They've got all of these pre-made plants in here, all right, ones that are like already in a pot. Do something like that. Throw it in the corner. That is one giant tall plant. Okay, and then maybe it's one element, but sometimes if there are two elements, because as you can see here, they've got the plants and they've got the pots, so you can kind of customize them and stuff. All right, and then you can go in there and choose how long you want each element to draw. Okay, there we go. So what we have just done, folks, is we have just kind of spruced up our room a little bit, <laughs> okay? And if we come back here to the scenes, I mean, I didn't do a lot to it. You don't want this to be a super long video, but, you know, you can see that we've, we've done a couple of things, you know? You can add a person in here, right? You, they've got seated characters. You can add a seated character, like sitting on... The sofa, one of the chairs, they've got people, I think you can see them sitting from the side, anything, really. You can take a picture, anything, all right? You can move this door and put a picture there. I mean, you can do whatever you want, okay? And then you can go in here and you can edit all of the timing, all right? So just to quickly recap, okay? Quick and easy way to shorten or lengthen a scene. Go to the end of it, drag it each way, all right? You can choose your elements and adjust the time on each one. You know, you can take the really small ones, maybe make them a little bit less, okay? And then you can also edit the scenes by clicking on whatever it is that you would prefer not to see there, getting rid of it, you can add something else to it, okay? So in a nutshell, guys, I hope that this adds something of value to your doodly video making capabilities. And if you like stuff like this, 
Please feel free to subscribe to the channel. You can like this video and maybe share it with other people. I do happen to have a huge playlist filled with tips and tricks just like this as far as using Doodly. They are not the official training videos. They're just my own little videos. But when I learn how to do cool stuff, I love to teach them to you guys. All right. I hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, take care.